really have to go to the toilet. Can we wait with this video, please? And you're watching Poo News. Apparently, I have been pissing people off left and right lately. Ooh, what did he do? What did I do? A few days ago, I did a video where I tested out an eye tracker. Basically, you could see where I'm looking at on the screen. So I asked people to send me videos of what I should look at. And of course, people send me Twitch booby streamers. And I very jokingly just sent out random in the video, stupid Twitch thoughts. Stupid Twitch thoughts. Some pretty hardcore stuff. I definitely understand why people can see that in a very, very negative way. Well, as it turns out, a streamer named Alinity had a few things to say, or do about it, rather. Happens? This is so annoying. Stupid Twitch thoughts. I just feel like they, they win over me, okay? And they're not gonna win over me. Stupid Twitch thoughts. No. S seriously? He just said that? I'm gonna copy strike this guy. Just for that word. Gonna copy strike him. Yo! Can we copy strike PewDiePie's latest video? Like right now? He called us Twitch thoughts. Now I did see this very soon after it, it happened on the stream. Uh, my intention is never to upset people with videos. I, uh, I decided it was easier to just cut her out. But before we were able to do that, the video did in fact, yes, get copy. Striked! Swing and a miss, he struck him out! To me, thought is such a memeable word that it doesn't necessarily have any negative connotation with it. I definitely didn't mean it in a negative way. It's just a joking word. But I do want to apologize to Alinity. And be clear, it was never meant to hurt or upset anyone. Alinity had a big problem with me using this word. Just like everyone else that watched it. We're devastated. Yeah, honestly, the fact that I was in his video is crazy. Now, we weren't sure if it was uh, Alinity that actually did the copy strike. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Or if it was just some random claim, because I get those all the time anyway. But the day after, she made a follow-up to this, where she sort of boasted about, yeah, it was me, guys. Now, again, I can't show the clip, but, and I don't recommend anyone to watch it because it's probably the most unlikable clip I've seen of anyone ever. She sits with a bowl of spaghetti smacking away going, Yeah, I wasn't on a head helm. You couldn't get more stereotypical than this. This is legitimately the transcription. I was gonna send, I was gonna send, I have somebody that copy strike and hits a company. It's called Colette. And uh, they they send me seven hundred dollars last month from Copy Strike, hitting people. Good money. Yeah, good money. Copy striking people. <laughs> Alinity, the most likable genius of all time, of course, admits publicly to uh, abusing copyright law and basically <laughs> to an illegal act that could hold up in a court of law. My videos are one hundred percent protected by fair use. They have they stand on their own feet. They add my own commentary. They work a lot of times as reviews. Often it's me reacting to content, but it's me adding my own commentary, giving criticism, reacting to it. It's transformative work that would hold up in a court of law, or at the very least, we've seen it hold up in a court of law, similar to H3H3, who had the lawsuit with another uh, YouTuber that didn't like what they said, so they took it to court by copy, copy striking. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Uh, which is very similar to what happened here to a, to a much less full extent where uh, she didn't like what I said, so she wanted to take down my video or at least claim the good money for it. Now, I'm used to dealing with this sort of stuff. I, there's opportunistic people all the time. I've lost revenue out of videos because of the background track that uh, was a parody of someone else's track. Long, a lot of things happens all the time. I've had literally two, two second screen clip getting claiming all the revenue of the video without saying what caused it. And it, this just shows to me how how easy it is to abuse YouTube fair use law. To, and to see someone boast about it so publicly and arrogantly, uh, it's so gross. So basically, CollabDRM, the, the company that striked my video, they license videos for Alinity. 
So Alinity has approved of them to do this, essentially. And that's why they took the revenue off of my video. Imagine if, if I did something really bad and everyone reacted to it. I could then strike back by claiming all the revenue from those videos and essentially censoring all those videos. If I don't like what someone says about me, I can claim that video. Uh, that's such a toxic environment that it, it would just ruin YouTube. So to see people abuse it, this so lightly, uh, it's very dangerous and very harmful and, I, and I'm glad this whole thing is brought to light even though I do feel bad for Alinity because she clearly doesn't know how to handle the situation. Now this whole thing blew up on Reddit, it got a lot of upvotes, a lot of people probably pressured her. Uh, so she issued a statement. Now I didn't think she could become more unlikable but turns out I was wrong. I wasn't even gonna bring up this whole thing until I read this statement. This is so dumb. The reason I reacted the way I did is because frankly I am so frustrated and tired of the rampant sexism in online communities. That definitely seemed like that was the case. I thought it was because of the good money you were making from striking videos. Hmm. I take issue with someone like Felix degrading and minimizing women to what is largely a very young audience. Your audience is 12 year olds hoping to see some cleavage. Are you kidding me? How delusional do you have to be to project this sort of statement? That kind of nonsense spills over and ends up on my stream where I end up being harassed for six hours. You brought this whole situation upon yourself and no one else. She then proceeds to blame Collab for the whole th thing, saying everything Collab does is without my knowing, and I will state that I'm honestly upset that they claimed on videos that are clearly transformative works. Can we copy Strike Beauty Pie? I'm so upset at Collab for claiming this video, but can we copy Strike Beauty Pie? I did not want this to happen, and I am sorry it did. What did you want then? She talks about this video called Alinity Dancing Compilation, which is a collection of me playing the Just Dance game, a game that I enjoy. But the video's intended purpose has nothing to do with the game that I like, and is simply an objectifying video. How can they objectify me? I don't understand. I'm just playing a game. I'm just playing a game that I really enjoy. I just want to play this Just Dance game. Why do people object? I don't understand it. I don't understand why. She then deleted this statement. I assume it didn't get the reaction that she was hoping for. And then finally, she went on Philly D to talk about this whole ordeal. The, the, what I meant is like, the only thing I know about how that works is that they pay me. So essentially, because she felt powerless. White Knight Philly D over here. C congratulations. She was powerless. I just know that they pay me. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> I don't understand how Collab DRM works. But can we copy Strike Pity Pie? I don't understand how I'm getting paid. But can we copy Strike Pity Pie, by the way? She didn't know. She just didn't know. Because she was being bombarded by people to feel powerful, she said, I can do this. And at that point, she explained a situation where, where Collab was really only supposed to claim videos where, where the, there wasn't anything transformative. That she trusted the company. She trusted the company. <laughs> Poor woman. This is, this is a story about abuse from a company taking advantage of Alinity. Can we copy Strike PewDiePie? Okay, Glam DRM is a very big company. They must know the law. Everything must be fine. I trust it, and I guess this is the way it works. And so that's why it seems like this incredibly unfortunate situation where she has this, this... How did this happen? It's so unfortunate. <laughs> so because she doesn't want to feel like a victim, she, she puffs up her chest. She acts like... <laughs> Good one, Philly. <laughs> Alinity also saying to me that uh, despite her having a contract, she is going to try to get out of it so she no longer works with Collab. Oh wow, how noble. She's basically saying that she didn't, never actually told Collab DRM uh, to strike my channel, and Collab DRM themselves confirmed that this is true, that they just strike my video because uh, they work with Alinity. They didn't strike it because Alinity told them. And I find this information to be completely redundant because she she said, I'm gonna claim the video, the video got claimed, and then finally she took credit for getting the video claimed. Then because everyone fired back at her, suddenly the story is different. Suddenly it's Collab's fault. Again, finally, Alinity, I'm sorry for calling you a Twitch thought. I will definitely be careful with what, using that word in the future. But you need to stop blaming other people. Stop blaming Collab DRM. Stop painting some sort of sexism narrative. Stop blaming me and 
admit that you what you did was wrong. It's really not that hard. I know what it's like to be under fire by the internet. I've never had to use any of these excuses. Have you heard of the Barbara Streisand effect? This woman tried to sue a photographer for taking a picture of her house. The photographer didn't know that it was her house. Just like I didn't know who the hell you were. And by suing this photographer, it, you, you may see where I'm going here. Everyone found out this picture of the house, which was the opposite of what she wanted. Yes, I was probably wrong for calling you a twist thought, but you brought this whole situation upon yourself and no one else. This brings me to the second and more important part of this whole thing. Honestly, I don't care about Alinity. This whole thing, just the hypocrisy around the whole situation, this is laughable and fun for me to ridicule. For the more serious meat and bone of the video, Collab DRM, the, the company that did strike the channel, I, I'm, I'm more than familiar with them. And I understand their business, and uh, I understand what they're trying to do. If they own license for videos and they want to claim ownership for that, I don't have a problem with that. But it seems to me, more often than not, they don't take fair use in in mind. Alinity reacted to my video just like I reacted to hers. Why can, you, why can they claim all the revenue for my video for that? For a four second clip. They admitted afterwards that it was a human error. But it really wasn't. This happens all the time. I've had, like I said, I had two second audio scream get claiming all the revenue of the video, which has nothing to do with the video. I've had just one image appearing for a few seconds, claiming all the revenue from the video. The way fair use and the copy strike system works right now is that if company claims your video, you can appeal it, but it's basically up to that company to then say yes or no. And of course they're gonna abuse that power, of course. They, they hold too much power at this point. And I'm glad this whole thing was brought up, so hopefully these companies can be more responsible in the future. The final thing is, like I said, I understand if you want to license your content, but if you truly care about protecting your content, you would at least say what it is you're licensing. If you go to Collab DRM's website, they say, Receive the claim. My video is fair use. Why did you claim it? None of this is true. And if you go on, can you give me uh, the exact time of my infringement? Seems fair, right? If my video got claimed, I at least get to know why it got claimed. But no, our job is to help creators control their content, not to help infringers avoid claims. I'm a creator. You're not helping anyone. You're just taking revenue. This is a perfect example of uh, these patent companies that abuse patent laws to claim revenue instead of just protecting the product. It's the exact same thing happening but with video content. And since YouTube doesn't want to go in between of it, these companies abuse this power. And this is one of the cases which led to this whole ordeal. Alinity knew she had this power, and that's why it became so transparent in this case. I think YouTube should really ought to make it so that you have to say what part of the video got claimed, or at least give an option to mute that video. If it's a, just an image appearing on the screen, just make the screen black, at least give us that option. This video will 100% be monetized if it hits 50,000 likes. I'm Gloria Borge. And you watching, and you just been filled in. <laughs>